Right then, they're all the positives. Unfortunately, the major negative, Neil, of course, from the game is Liverpool lost another player. What looks like a long term injury. Obviously, Jürgen hasn't had this press conference at the Sheffield United at the time recording. That's due this afternoon. We'll expect more on Joel Matip, but afterwards. His quick comment was, we haven't had a scan, but that will not be a short one. It, yeah. it, looks, like, it looked bad. It, was, it looked like a knee, didn't it? Yeah, it looked like a knock on the knee, yeah. It, it wasn't. Okay. So he, for those who maybe didn't see the game, he, Joe Matip goes down the sideline, goes to clear the ball, wins the tackle, and he kind of just pulls up a bit lame, and, and that, that was him done straight away, straight off. Ebu was on. Yeah. Um, yeah, not a short one. It was, it was mad, because just this last week, we were speaking about Matip and how good he's been. You know, he's deserving. He's keeping Ebu Kanata on the bench. He's playing every game. The Joe Matip experience is this sometimes that we just get injuries he's had yeah. before, but it is a big blow for the Reds. This one, it's, it looks like again not a short one. When Jürgen says that, they know something's not right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He was gone, wasn't he? He was just he couldn't he couldn't even get up. He you know he was just lying on the on the pitch while the game was going on for a, for a little while. So yeah, you know you, you you hope it's not a ligament sort of a you know a, That's the a, sense surge, I got a here, surgery kind of requirement maybe. Fingers crossed, it's just a, a kick or a you know a, a heavy knock to it, but yeah, it didn't look like it, did it? Um, that's the Joel Matthew, yeah, you're right. The Joel Matthew experience, as soon as it gets to three games a week, you, you start to worry about Matthew, don't you? You know, being able to play those, but this is this has happened in the first of them, so I think it's yeah, we had a good chat about it last week, didn't we? Would you give him a new contract? I think I said I wouldn't because of this, because of this, yeah, and you know, Lots I, of dance. I, I, yeah, I um, I you know. I'm I'm gutted for him because he's he was playing playing well. I know he, he didn't have a great first half, but he, um he was in the team and he was deservedly in the team. And now it's just going to stretch Liverpool's options further, and I'm going to have to see some. We're, we're going to have to see it anyway. We're going to have to see some creative rotation, I think, from Liverpool over the next certainly over the next few days, and then over the next four weeks beyond that. Yeah, we've got a Discord question actually on that from Cody Pool eighty six. Says now we're coming out up to one of the busiest periods and matters out along as is Robertson. Joe Gomez is effectively back up left back, back up right back, hmm. back up centre back as well. Um does this mean we might get to see some of the younger full backs mm-hmm. come into game? So obviously as it stands, Liverpool if Liverpool had an injured left back to cost us, Gomez would be in there. If they had an injury or something to trend at right back, Gomez would be in there. <laughs> The centre half's a bit different. They've still got two plus Gerald Quanza as well, but it does feel like this was the old Rafa blanket thing. You cut your bl- your blankets getting pulled everywhere, and, and Joe Gomez is there at the moment. Yeah. Conor Bradley being back helps. We we don't know exactly what Jürgen's plans are there, but it is, it is an interesting one because Joe Gomez is effectively the first choice back up now in at least two, maybe three positions. Yeah, and that we've seen that before. That doesn't always work. You, 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 that's yeah. how you end up struggling. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but at least he's good and he's informed. Well, but he's yeah. a, the, the 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 worry with Joe Gomez is he's another one, isn't he? The, yeah. The more you ask him to play, the more likely he is to get injured. Um, he was the same, mate. Yeah, but I mean, Conor Bradley's back now, so that 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 hopefully helps that right back situation. You know, I'm sure he'll play the yeah. the Union Saint yeah. Gilloir game, um, maybe the West Ham game, possibly half a chance. Um, the left back one. You know, we saw Luke Chambers get a little bit of minutes in the the last game. I'm sure he'll get a, a run out against Union as well if he can stay fit. Yeah. You've got Callum Scanlon there, but it's not ideal. And then you're looking at really very creative solutions, aren't you? Okay, I know Curtis played there right back in the early in the season, but I don't know if you want to be doing that in in a Premier League game. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Stefan Bajetic tried it; he's, he's injured. I suppose Endo possibly you could you could see. A potential for him to play as a right back. I, I imagine he, he he would have the the sort of nous to do it, especially being a midfielder if it's that that role. But they're not they're not none of those are perfect solutions, are they? So yeah, I mean, you've got above the, on the on the agenda. They could it bring forward any January plans? It depends how big the injury is to matter, I suppose, isn't it? If it's a if it's a season ender. Possibly, I, I, think, I would say. If he was out of contract, like you said before, you wouldn't have given. The, the, there's been no signs that Liverpool are going to give him a do, no. new deal anyway. But it might have been we'll play it out and then we'll get someone in the summer. We've seen them bring Gakpo and Diaz were both yeah. potentially summer signings brought forward for different reasons that might have been perhaps to sign beat other clubs to their signature at times, but also Liverpool wanted them. Is there a chance now again when when he when you see knees and hugging? We don't we don't know a time of recording exactly how severe it is, but. If it is a long one where Joel Matip's out until Easter or something, yeah. is there a chance to go, you know I'd, what, I'd, we need something? Yeah, I think so. It depends what, you know, what what's available, doesn't it? You know, if, and who who they're looking at, at getting. I mean, if they if they get the if they've identified two, three targets for next summer and one of them's available in January for a for a fee, I, I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. But if Matip's only out for I say he's only out till January, I don't think Liverpool are gonna sort of 
absolutely push the panic button and say, right, we need to get six. You know, have We're going to put Nat back on that loan, aren't we? Nat's yeah, going well, to I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, funny enough, I mean, I was going to say, it's not an ideal, but you've got Nat Phillips not playing at Celtic. You've got Reese Williams not playing at Aberdeen. So there is that kind of, well, we could, we could see either of those two back just, just for the, you know, as an as a emergency sort of cover for, for even just for January and then, and then move on. But again, they're not, ideal solutions um, I think it just depends on what's available and, and I say how, how severe Matip's injury is Klopp's press is half one today so I'm sure we'll find out a little bit but yeah he was quite downbeat on it on, on Saturday um, Sunday sorry yeah. so I wouldn't well maybe maybe you know you get the surprise good news but where Joel Matip's concerned it very rarely is good news on injury front no you're right what it does do as well Neil Swift mentioned like Liverpool got back into that game by putting Trent Alexander Arnold first of all as number six and then put him back up at number eight, got him as close to the goal as possible, and it worked out. Yeah. In the end, he gets the he obviously gets the winning goal. This if, if that was ever going to be in a plan, it, it's hard for that to be a plan now because you're you're down to defend two of your first yeah. already. You can't ask Joe Gomez to play right back every single week. Well, you might, he absolutely could do that, but again, if you're worried about him, it kind of throws a little. If there was that, if that was ever a plan, if it kind of throws a little bit of spanning in that works as well. Yeah, but but that they were chasing the game as well. You know, yeah, absolutely. I I, I, that point. Yeah, so the, the way I mean, there were strange things happening where you know we've seen them do it. You know, in other positions, but we've seen Luis Diaz sort of play left yeah, back. Yeah. You know, at times um, or at a time, you know, you saw they, they went with. <laughs> You know, very few midfielders on for, for a spell on on Sunday. You know, when he took off Suboslai, who I think, you know, I think I he might need a rest. Yeah, I think he might need a bit of a rest. Yeah, you know, it look, just looks like he's got a bit of bit of a, a few miles in his legs at the moment. I thought McAllister. You know, Klopp said he was running out of gas. I thought he was. He looked all right to be fair, but they obviously have a feeling that they need to protect him as well. I think it was telling he didn't use Curtis or Elias. I think both of those will play. Against Sheffield United, I think I think that was clear that they're being sort of kept kept behind for that. Um, at least Endo, you know, Endo come on and, and made an impact. So you've got the option of playing him as 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 a number six in some of these games coming up. Maybe both the, the two away games. Yeah. But I think Trent's yeah the debate around Trent's gonna gonna um, heighten, isn't it? Because of the last two games, the last two goals he's scored where he's picked the ball up is in that centre midfield position isn't it in those central areas but I think Liverpool can still find a way to to mix and match I don't think they need to sort of commit to one or the other um, and as I say it's going to be about being creative in the in the rotation and making sure that everyone stays as fit as possible I mean we don't even mention there but you know they've only got four senior forwards they're going to have to you know I, I probably would have started Gakpo on on Saturday yeah, probably start Wednesday, won't you? You'll probably start Wednesday. But you've also got Gakpo who can play midfield. Yeah. But that that removes a bench option. So you, you they're having to sort of spread their options a little bit thinner than they'd like at the moment. And the the, the worry I suppose the bigger worry is apart from Allison, it doesn't look like Matt Robertson, Jota, we're gonna see them until the new year, probably. Yeah, I suppose the 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 one well, again. The chance, if, if this would have happened, if someone said to me that people are going to go in with these centre half options and Joe Matt is going to get a big injury in the start of the centre, that's going for months. At least Jello Kwanza, yeah, there's a, that's that's an added bonus yeah. that Liverpool have got Jello Kwanza, and I I think we'd all be very comfortable with Jello Kwanza starting Premier League games. Now that's the that is the difference compared to years gone by where you're like, oh, yeah, and he can play right back, you can know, play right back, yeah, yeah, you know, you've got he came on recently, didn't he? Right back, very was was it last? Kind of, yeah, he, he very briefly, yeah, yeah. He switched, uh, yeah. I mean, he can, I mean, look, he's not again, he's not a perfect solution at right back, but I do, and I also think as well, if you've got Van Dijk, I think that might even help. Kwanzaa in, in, you know, if you had to put him in a league game, you know, he's done really well alongside Matter at Wolves. Yeah. He's played a lot of cup games, you know, alongside Canate and, and maybe Matip as well. I think if you put him in, you know, say, home, Wednesday, if you put him in Wednesday at Sheffield United with with Van Dijk, you, I think you'd feel relatively comfortable that he could handle it. Yeah. The only thing is maybe a little bit that you know you're then having real sort of. I know he's played a few games but he's a rookie goalkeeper and a rookie centre half as well at the same time you probably would, would want to wait until Alisson Alisson was back but um, yeah I think Kwanzaa has been a big bonus we've said it a few times on the show haven't we that he, you know, he's made a massive difference to Liverpool's sort of 
feeling of comfort with, with regards to centre backs, but yeah, he might he might be needed uh, over the next few weeks. He'll definitely get a look in. I think in the um, in the Union game, I think he'll probably start the West Ham game as well hey guys hope you enjoyed that clip from Jano Insights if you want to check out the whole show it's available over on redmenplus.com right now if you go and sign up as a legend subscriber get yourselves in the hat for our monthly prize draws as well as getting all that amazing content we've still got a giveaway a Dirk Couch signed shirt an Ibu Kanate signed shirt Jamie Carragher signed programme and loads more so yeah redmenplus.com join us a legend get all that amazing content just like Jano Insights and get yourselves in our rest of our advent prize draws see you in a bit Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord, and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.